What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. I'm usually really excited when I do swatch and reviews and this particular collection that I'm reviewing today is the OPI Neons for 2019 and I'm not gonna lie to you, I've had these polishes for a while and I have not been excited about them and I've been really dragging my feet about doing this review to the point where I refuse to even swatch them for a really long time. Usually as soon as I get a collection I'll swatch it and then when I have time I like do these intros. When I first got this collection I was so excited, like you guys wouldn't even believe how excited I was because I was like, I love OPI. They can't do any wrong in my eyes. They do amazing polishes. Their neons are great. They have amazing formulas. I'm going to love them. This is going to be amazing. And then I tried one of them and it did not perform well. And I was so upset. I was just like, all right, this collection is awful. I'm not even going to review these anytime soon, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, the point is I've had these for a really long time. I refuse to swatch them for a really long time, but I finally did. And now I'm finally reviewing them. They're not as bad as I thought they were, but they don't perform as well as I expected them to, which is a little bit disappointing. But anyway, I don't want to spoil it anymore. Let's just get to the swatches. So as always with all of my swatches, I am going to be using base coat. Today I'm actually using the OPI base coat, which I just got and I'm trying out, but I like it so far. So I'll link it down below. So first up in this collection, we have Positive Vibes Only, which is a neon purple cream shade. So don't let my negative intro deter you from these polishes. There are a few good ones. I'm going to be highlighting the ones that I like and the ones that I don't like. This is one of the ones that I actually really like. First of all, you guys know I love purple nail polishes, but second of all, this one did have a really good formula. It was opaque in two coats. It does dry to that sort of plasticky finish, but you can always throw on a top coat if you want. This one was super bright. I do think that it probably could have benefited from a third coat. If my nails were any longer, I definitely would have had to do a third coat. Next up, we have the shade VI Pink Passes, and this is a neon pink cream. This is another really nice one. Again, it's a little bit sheer on the first coat, but I did get full opacity in the second. The thing with this collection is is the shades are actually very sheer. You can mostly get full opacity in two or three coats, but they do have this like almost sheer jelly-like quality to them, which is why I wasn't a huge fan of the formula, but this color is also very beautiful. Next up, we have the shade Orange You A Rockstar, which is actually in the bottle. It's a really beautiful, almost like peachy salmon neon shade. This is actually the shade that I was the most excited about and the shade that I immediately tried out when I got it and I was so disappointed by. I ended up doing it on my toes that first time and it took three coats and it still wasn't fully opaque so I was like no and that spiraled out of control and that's why I didn't love this collection but anyway like I said this one did end up taking three coats for full opacity on my nails and honestly I probably could have benefited from a fourth the color itself is just so beautiful but I just don't think that the formula makes up for it so I don't really love it you could always pair it over white I just don't love doing that with any polish because I always hate the edges so yeah it's, it's your call you you tell me what what you think. Next up, we have the shade Pump Up the Volume, which is without a doubt the most disappointing shade in this collection. In the bottle, it's a really pretty, like, it's, I wouldn't even call it a neon yellow. It's almost like a pastel neon yellow that has a little bit of a greenish undertone to it. This one took a whopping four coats for full opacity, and even then, I felt like it was still a little bit patchy. This is definitely a color that you would have to layer over white, but honestly, I don't even really love the color. I feel like it's not as bright as it could be. If this was a two or three coater, I feel like it could pass for being a spring nail polish because it's not even that like neon or bright so I'm not really sure what they were going for with this one. I definitely didn't love it. I'm definitely never gonna wear it. I just don't think it's that great. I don't even know if there's a use for it in nail art just because it's so sheer and it's so light of a color. But I don't know that it would really have a use in anything. So yeah this one was definitely very disappointing but luckily the next two in the collection are pretty good. Next up we have the shade Dance Party Teal Dawn and as the name would suggest this is a teal cream shade, but it is so bright and blue. I absolutely love this one, actually. Again, pretty sure on the first coat, full opacity on the second coat, but this one didn't give me any troubles with the formula. And like I said, this color is just really beautiful. Shades like this tend to stain me, but this one did not stain my nails at all. So I was really excited about that. I do think I maybe could have done a third coat, but I still think that the color is really beautiful, not patchy, and it looks really nice on the nail. So definitely going to be keeping this one. And last but not least, we have the shade Music Is My Muse, which is a really beautiful blue neon cream. Again, same formula as the other ones. This one was a little bit lighter than the other shades, so I did end up having to do three coats for full opacity. But in this case, I feel like I might have been able to get away with two coats if I was careful. I was really excited about this color, and I was worried that it wasn't going to look good, but it absolutely did not disappoint. I thought it looked really nice. It does look a little bit lighter on camera than it does in real 
life. So definitely keep that in mind. I feel like it's more, a little bit more neon than it looks on camera and a little bit less of like a sky blue. But yeah, overall a really nice color and I don't know, I think it looks really nice in summary. So yeah, I mean, there's some that I really like in this collection. There's some that I think are really good formulas. I'm very thankful that the blue one is a good formula because what I'm gonna tell you my fun fact later, but yeah, so uh, mixed bag, I don't know. I'm not usually negative about reviews, but this one I've been like super stressed out about. So these polishes are available wherever that OPI is sold, at least for the time being. They are probably limited edition, so I wouldn't anticipate them being around longer than this summer. If there are any that you wanna pick up, definitely do that as soon as possible. I got mine from HB Beauty Bar, which is a retailer that I use online. I also have a discount code with them. So if you use the code Kelly, then you'll get 20% off your order. I will link that down below. So those are my thoughts. I would love to know what you guys think. I haven't actually heard any reviews about them specifically. I just heard that people are excited about them. So I would love to know what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my swatch and review videos. Make sure you comment and you know, let me know what you think, like I just said, and uh, subscribe to my channel because why not, right? <laughs> That's it, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, my fun fact is actually, I didn't even hear about this collection and I got an email from Journeys, which is a shoe store for those of you guys who don't know, that Converse and OPI partnered up to make neon shoes. And I was so excited. I placed an order at work because I was that hyped. I got, I ended up getting the blue ones and they're inspired by the music is my muse shade. So if you guys don't know this, I love Converse sneakers. I have a bunch of pairs and I love wearing them. When I saw that these blue ones were in existence, I got very excited and I got them. So I think they're really cool. <laughs> they're a little bit loud for me to wear, especially with shorts. You can see how pale I am, especially next to them. Just imagine these with my pasty legs. I think they're going to look a lot better with jeans though, so I haven't really been wearing them. But they're really cool because A, they say music is my muse on them, and then B, they say OPI on the back, so everybody knows that I'm a nail polish addict. But yeah, so I was really excited about those. And they weren't that expensive. That's one of the reasons why I love Converse sneakers, because they're really not expensive and they look cool. I never imagined that one of my favorite nail polish brands and my favorite shoe brand would do a collaboration, so I'm very excited about that. I kind of wish that they would do more colors than just like the four that they picked, but I'm still pleased with the blue ones. I think that was the best choice for me. All right, that's it. I'll show you guys later. Bye.